Hey everyone and welcome to my channel. Today we're on the 18th day of my 21 days dance challenge. If you're new, please check out in the description below. I made a special video that would explain everything about this challenge. But to make a long story short, we are working on a full choreography in this 21 days. Um, and it's a Persian tribal fusion dance choreography on Asadi Music Goldie and I'm very excited because we're reaching to the end of the dance and, and we have a very complex movement today uh, and before we begin I would love it if you give me a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and write me in the comments something so I know you are there with me and let's get started Yesterday, we had um, eight counts that um, took us back to the beginning. So it, it was the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. The only thing is that on the eight, I finished with the head back. Not back, but really, um, I, I have to be on the profile to the crowd, to the mirror. And then you probably heard in the music, there is a beat after that. We are just taking our head back. So it's different from the first time in the beginning of the dance, there was no, there was a different bass. Here it's very strong, so I'm looking front. So I did the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and. So the bass is in the end. From here, I'm going to explain only hands. So we were here. I'm gonna do it in front of the mirror. I'm opening the arm. So I'm really kind of opening. I call this the needle, thread the needle. From here, I'm going to do another of this across the body that we did earlier. We did it maybe two or three classes ago. And you see it a lot in my dances. So there is, just with hands, there is one, two, Three E and a four, five and six, seven and a eight. I told you it's gonna be complex, just bear with me. I'm gonna do it in front of you, not mirroring. So we have a one, two, thread the needle. We have three and four. We have a five windmill and six. We have a seven and eight. So there's a lot of hand patterns. So the first one is the thread the needle. Then we're going to take our hands across the body, across the face and the body, and finish in a paisley, one of my paisley prints positions. From there, I'm going to take my hand and windmill them back. So this movement, I call it an Arabic windmill, and we're gonna see in a second why, because I'm taking my body with it, okay? so. And after that, I have a cobra. Yes, yeah, so again, we were here, windmill, across the body, windmill, cobra. Now let's see what happens with uh, all the rest of the body. If you find this movement already intimidating, don't worry. This is not really a beginner challenge, so you can go check out my beginner courses on Teachable, on Patreon. Uh, so as I said, I'm not really digging down into technique, I'm just explaining the movements. So now let's add the upper body. So one, two, it's actually, we said that, and. We had a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and. One, two, three, e, and a four, five, e, and a six, seven and a eight. Now I showed everything. Now I'm gonna explain what I'm doing. So I'm doing it backwards, Maya going out with my right hip from here while I'm stepping one, two. So I wanna tilt myself, I wanna uh, um, turn myself to the front. So it's going to be one and counting is gonna be and one, two, the right hand, if you saw, it can go straight, but it can also do a little florel if you want. So one, two, I've opened, three, e, and a four. So I'm taking the weight into the right, kind of like taximing the left hip, 
And if you want to add on the way down of the left hip, you can do a shimmy. Because in the music there is <laughs> and it's kind of faster with the music, so it's a and again, I'm kind of I'm going to do it slow now. And one, two, three, e and a four, five, e and a six, seven, e and a eight. Let's stop there. So just feet. I'm going to do, let's put our hands like on the second position so it'll be easier. I'm going to do it in front of you. I'm doing two kind of like hip circles going out. Then I'm transferring the weight to the right, aximing the left in to go T D D D D if you want, because this is what the music does. After that, I'm diagonaled. So I'm going to do a figure eight. It's kind of like a Khaliji Moroccan movement. So I call it the uh, Moroccan windmill, Arabic windmill, but I'm going to, so I'm going to really stay stable in my lower body and just move my upper body. Now this would be easier with the hands. Okay. So we were here. Don't forget this is one of my Paisley Prince positions and I'm going to reach back with my right and twist my body back with the left and then they meet in front of the face. So I'm going to do it in front of you, not mirroring you. So we were here. We were one, two, three, e and a four. Now, if you're the crowd, I'm doing five and six. Sometimes I do it with a step here. I'm not doing it with a step just in place. Five and six. So it's a twist, twist front. And you can see my right hand is starting then the left and the right is together and then I'm stopping in the center and here I'm going to do an undulation, a camel, but I'm going to step, step with my left front. So left and stop and it's going to go back. So make sure that your left leg goes front with undulation and then back because in a second we're going to start something with my, with our right leg. Okay. So one more time I'm going to do it in front of you and then we'll drill it with some music. And one, two, three, e and a four, five, e and a six, seven, and a eight. So you can also take your head here if you want. In the music, I'm gonna try and sing it. He says, listen in the bass, I think. So it's a listen. Ta na 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 I'm also a little bit sneezed right now. Sneezed. I'm also a little bit cold right now, so maybe my nose and my singing is quite different, but you can do in the end you can look with the head if you want, but you don't have to. And I think I said a bass, but I think there is a listen in there. So it's not a bass, it's a Listen. Ta na 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 And you want to make sure that we stood in diagonal too. We stood in a corkscrew position, diagonal in a cabaret showgirl, and then we went to the center. So we're stopping again to this diagonal and then eventually because my body is open to the front it's gonna go so i was in a crock screw position right here and then when i finish i'm really cornered okay so if this is the crowd this is um downstage right or upstage right how do you want to call it but this is my right okay i'm gonna do it in front of the mirror one more time and then we're gonna drill with some music listen then we're start starting something on the right. Now let's drill it with some music. So let's begin. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, and a four, five, and six. Seven and a eight. This was kind of fast. We're gonna do it very slow, but this was kind of like similar to the rhythm of the music. Seven and two, three, four, five, six, 
seven, eight. And one, two, three, four, five, six, eight. I won't, I won't count it so you won't get confused. Again, from here, and ah, uh, open. Shimmy if you can on the way down. Windmill. Cobra with an undulation. One more time. Slow. Three, four, five, six. I'm gonna do it in front of you. A. One, two, T, T, T. If you can shimmy it down. Diagonal. And Cobra with an undulation. Now we're gonna do it double time. We're gonna do it in front of you. Five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, and a four, five, and six, seven, and a eight. One more time in front of the mirror. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, and a four, five, and six, seven, and a eight. So in the music, it's not that fast, but it's not slow. Now you should just go in the description below, see the music with the dance, practice it as much as you need. Please combine all the dance, all the days together because we are reaching to the end and I would really love to see your progression. I really love to see how you did this dance in the end. So practice every day, all that we did so far. It's not an easy one, so you should practice on it. If you have any questions, please write them down in the comments below and I'll see you tomorrow.